Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today's video is a question from a great customer who asked about Tony Cart brake shims and how to fit them. So this week's video is Tony Cart brake shims. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Thanks to everybody that has subscribed, turned on those pesky notifications or followed us on Instagram and Facebook, we really appreciate it. In this week's video, we're talking Tony Cart brake shims, so let's get to it. So the parts you're gonna need for this job is a four millimeter T-bar, or a four millimeter and or a four millimeter ratchet, and a couple of brake shims. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove these two brake pad retaining bolts. Now I like to use the four millimeter ratchet and just hold the bolt back here. Oops, sorry for that. Hold it back so that the nut stays captive in the brake caliber. Now when you're installing your brake shims, there's two ways you can do it, the easy way and the hard way. So the hard way and the quick way is just to push the brake pad off and slide the shim in behind the pad and the piston by pushing a couple of Allen keys onto the, onto the bolts. Now these are uh, the pad retaining bolts and they've got little springs on them. So you can just push them in and then you can slide that um, shim in. You've got to push both of them in at the same time and it is, you know, you can't get it done, but it's just a bit of a bit more of a mission. So once you've got it in position, you can uh, put the bo put the bolt back through, jiggle it in. But what I like to do, which is the easy way, is remove my brake pads, retaining bolts and springs assembly. Ding. Righto, so that just comes out of there. So you can see it's got a little spring and a collar and a little bolt. Just goes together like that. And then this screws in through the caliper and this screws into the brake, back of the brake pad. I'll show you that in a minute. So you can see here on the back of the brake pad, this is where those brake pad repaint retaining bolts screw into. So now it's just as simple as getting your brake shim, sticking it on the back of the brake pad, and then sliding it back into the caliper. Now if you were going to change brake pads, now's the time to do it. You've got the pads out, throw them away and put your new ones in, and you won't need any shims. But we're going to show you how to put the shims in. So with your brake pad and brake shim, just slide that back into the brake caliper, like so. And if you carefully insert the brake pad retaining bolt here, oh, so you can see that it's slipped down a little bit. You just want to catch the shim and then the pad with the bolt. I do the top one first and then I move on to the bottom one. Now you can insert the bottom one. Okay, we've got the first half done. Now we're just going to remove this brake pad and put a shim in on this side as well. So grab the second brake pad and brake shim and we're just going to slide that in past the brake disc and the piston. Oh. Now they, they will fall through to the back so what I do is just get that brake pad bolt through the top and you can just jiggle it right, and then the second one, the bottom one will go in way easier. You can see that the brake retaining pin bolt nut is a uh, cone lock okay, or a self-locking nut and it's captive inside the uh, uh, brake caliper over here. So you just got to jiggle that into position and the brake caliper actually holds it in, in just stops it from spinning. And then you can just nip up the cap screw, nip up the bottom one.
and then you can just ratchet those back up. Last but not least, reinstall the brake pad retaining springs and bolts. It's just a matter of um, pushing the, the springs in and just rotating your Allen key and it'll pick up the, the little thread there on the back of the, the pads. Just get both of them started and then we can... The other one is down here. Then just double check all the bolts are tight. So there you have it. That's how you change your BSM brake shims for your Tony Kart racing machines. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, turn on those pesky notifications or subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really means a lot. Also too, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Public. Or go to our website www.powerpublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt or a brand new Tony Kart racing machine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.